Giant centipedes are among the most fearsome of all the inhabitants of the undergrowth, and every bit as impressive as their hunting prowess is their astonishing diversity. They exhibit a near boundless array of colours and patterns, and on the Indian subcontinent lives a centipede like no other, a creature so striking that one would be forgiven for assuming that any images of such were the results of someone getting a little carried away with Photoshop. Scolopendra hardwickii, among the most sought after species for any centipede enthusiast, and looking at those spectacular colours it's not hard to see why. Scolopendra hardwickii is as aforementioned native to India, particularly toward the country's south as well as nearby Sri Lanka. It was first described in 1844, based on specimens contained within the British Museum. The published description is short and concise, far less detailed in terms of the animal's morphology when compared to the descriptions for more recently catalogued species. It also appears to be a little off when it comes to the centipede's coloration something that could plausibly be attributed to the fact that the description was based off long deceased museum specimens as opposed to live animals, so the colours would have very likely been faded. Unlike many Scolopendra species, Scolopendra hardwickii doesn't exhibit much variation in appearance across its range. Practically all individuals exhibit a distinctive pattern of alternating black and orange segments, with doubled up orange on the 7th and 8th leg bearing segments, an overt middle finger to anyone with OCD. Generally the segments are entirely black or orange, however there are instances in which the black coloration is reduced so that it only covers part of a segment, or conversely is more extensive, bleeding into the orange segments. Even with this slight variation, Scolopendra hardwickii is nevertheless one of the most instantly recognisable centipede species on Earth, and one of the few that can be reliably identified based on coloration alone. Not only is Scolopendra hardwickii an exceptionally colourful centipede, it is also impressively large, not quite in the same league as the South American giants, but at 15 to 20 centimetres in length, potentially up to 25 centimetres, and boasting some considerable girth as well, it's still quite the heavyweight. Like many Scolopendrid centipedes, Scolopendra hardwickii is a generalist predator, and its size means that it's capable of overpowering some very substantial and potentially dangerous prey items including other powerfully armed arthropods like scorpions and vinegaroons. Its speed and brute strength alone make for a formidable combination, but like all centipedes, Scolopendra hardwickii also comes equipped with forcipules. These modified legs, a trademark weapon for all centipedes, function like a pair of fangs, injecting venom an effective tool for both subduing prey and giving potential predators a most unpleasant punishment for their curiosity. Scolopendra hardwickii is alleged to be capable of inflicting one of the most painful envenomations of any centipede, and looking at those vivid warning colours, it's hardly a surprise that it seems to possess such a virulent toxin. But what is truly unique about the venom of this species is that it appears to be strongly sexually disparate. An analysis of the venoms from male and female Scolopendra hardwickii found that over 60% of its components could be unique to a single sex. The study did not appear to propose a particular reason for this disparity, but that doesn't mean that there's no room for a bit of conjecture on my part. If a particular feature differs substantially between males and females, it may suggest that said feature plays some sort of role pertaining to courtship or reproduction, either directly, like the extravagant plumage flaunted by the males of many bird species to impress the comparatively dull females, or indirectly, 
such as the large and often elaborate horns wielded by males of numerous beetles in combat with other males to ward off competition and thus heighten their chances of landing a mate. So, could the difference in venom composition between male and female Scolopendra hardwickii indicate that venom serves a function in the species' reproduction? Well, let's take a look at their courtship rituals. For giant centipedes, getting intimate is, by and large, a surprisingly gentle affair, especially given these animals are so well known for their speed and ferocity. I guess it's a little tiring being the top predators of the undergrowth, so maybe it's relieving for them to show their softer side in bed. Bit of anthropomorphizing there, uh, anyway, moving on. Scolopendra hardwickii, however, has taken a unique and, quite frankly, brutal spin on the classic giant centipede dating procedure. Upon contact, the male will appear to attack the female, repeatedly pinching her with his venomous force appeals until she becomes paralysed, which, given the potency of this species' venom, is usually something that occurs very quickly. Eventually, the female regains mobility, after which courtship continues in the typical scolopendrid manner, with the male leading the female into some sort of tight crevice, before spinning a crude cylindrical web in which he deposits a blob of sperm. The female, evidently still convinced he's the right man for her, after being almost killed by him not moments before, follows the male through and picks it up. I guess female Scolopendra hardwickii are either the world's biggest masochists, or suffer a severe case of Stockholm Syndrome. So it's clear that Venom does play a major role in Scolopendra hardwickii courtship, and this may explain the apparent disparity in its composition between the two sexes. However, I'd like to clarify again that this is just my own speculation. It is not, to my knowledge, stated in the study, of which I could only access the abstract, and I'm merely putting forward what I believe to be a plausible explanation for the study's findings. And that's about it for this video. If you want to see more centipede content, take a look at this video about the five biggest centipede species in the world or this one covering a strange little centipede endemic to Australia. And of course, feel free to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you again very soon.